We visualize the image segmentation data set onto the heat map and the scatter plot projection onto the principal component coordinates. First, we try to run the automatic k-means clustering algorithm onto the data set with five cluster centers. Each cluster is colored differently on the scatter plot projections. Notice that it is hard to discern clusters visually in the 3D PC space. Now we introduce TripAdvisor ND for the subspace navigation in this problem space. To identify interesting sites, we use the entropy-based subspace algorithm to determine independent subspaces. Then we use the projection pursuit algorithm to find interesting viewpoints in these subspaces. Back to the framework, we clean all clusters from the automatic k-means and then start navigating the entire data set. Tor destination map lays out the interesting sites that are identified with described algorithms. We use the multidimensional scaling algorithm for the layout. Each site has its own icon with bar charts representing the strength and orientation of relevant dimensions, as well as the thumbnail of the scatter plot. By clicking one site on the Tor map, it activates the detailed projection view for the site. The projection view has four components for the navigation dynamic scatter plot, view coordinates, touchpad, and bar charts to show the weights for each dimension on the projection. Navigation is controlled by the control points in the touchpad. Then, the projection where I am navigating currently is shown as a red color node in the Tor map, in a relative position to all other sites. Showing how the view is changing by moving the red control point in the touchpad. User can choose to show the axis coordinates onto the scatter plot directly. User also can choose to show the motion trail to follow the trajectory of each data point. Notice there are several clusters that are moving together with same direction and trend. We brush clusters that we discovered by navigating through. Follow the motion trail to confirm the brushed clusters. We notice that there are two additional clusters in a green one by following the trail. Brushing again. Looking around the clusters in the local neighborhood. Note that the touchpad is configured in a subspace with seven dimensions. We can see where we are currently traveling in the global map. The red node is the current view. Hopping to another destination site just by clicking a node. Touchpad interface is configured for the selected view and the scatter plot changed accordingly. All brush clusters are persisted in other views. Hop to another site and look around its neighborhood. see where we are currently traveling in the global map. User also can highlight the path for the planned tour.